Hey guys, on this week's episode of the Build Show Network, we're here with Lou, with my HVAC guy with AL Mechanical again. We're on a project site that's under construction. As you can see, we're in the mechanical room. And today we're gonna talk about three different types of HVAC systems. So we're down here in the basement of this build, and we're not just using three different HVAC systems just because we wanted to try out three different HVAC nope, systems, no right? We've got your conventional system in the attic that's going to ceiling feed the second floor. Yes. And um, originally, we would have had another conventional system down here that would have um, fed the first floor. Yes. However, yes. once the house got framed up and we started having preliminary meetings um, with you, an electrician, and other trades to start thinking about how we were going to run mechanicals and plumbing and, and everything here, the client decided she wanted to finish the basement. That changed our approach to what we were going to do down here um, with the equipment, right? Yes, now sir. we need to make sure that we don't have um, ducts below the floor system here, that we have to soft it out. We don't have a lot of height here on the basement in, to, the, to begin with because of the way that the original house was designed, not being finished. So you and I and my team and your team had to get very creative um, to come up with a solution. So we had two solutions, the Unico system, which is a high velocity system with two inch air ducts. So we were able to snake those ducts into some tight areas to reduce and almost frankly completely eliminate having soffits down here for the most part. We were able to get strategic and we were putting those soffits. Mm -hmm. And then to, um, to condition the air here in the basement, we've decided to go with three uh, Mitsubishi electric console units, correct? That's correct, the heat pumps. The heat pumps. So before we get into the console units, we'll step out of here and talk about that in a moment. Um, this Unico system, now I've used them for years. We've been using them a lot on projects lately, especially renovations where we're limited with where we can run our ducts. Um, my experience with Unico back in the day, so-so, right? They used to be loud um, where, the, where the ducts were placed by windows. They would blow your curtains around. What's different about this system now? Because the last five jobs we've done with these, I've been very happy with it. So what, what's different? What can people know that maybe are hesitant about using a Unico system that um, could maybe give them some peace of mind? Well, Wade, yes, these, the Unico systems, the high velocities, they, as the name states, they're a high velocity unit. The air moves a lot faster than in your conventional systems. So what Unico has done to help alleviate that is we're now running a nine inch main duct on the supply instead of a six inch duct that we used to. Gives us a little bit more air, more surface. We can slow the air down a little bit on that end. The other thing we do is we now recommend minimum of seven outlets per ton on the Unico. Once you go to the seven outlets, we also do the full 12 foot sound attenuator on every run mm -hmm. to help reduce that noise level mm -hmm. and slow the air down a little bit. So that's been working exceptionally well. We've had no complaints from previous clients that have the systems and I anticipate that that's how it will be moving forward. So um, how is this unit, is there anything you want to point out here, of, you know, how uh, this well, unit works or? So, I mean, the units here, we got, we got, it's a modular unit, Unico is a modular. So this one we're doing heating and air conditioning. With the Unico, you can pick and choose, use it for cooling only, heating only, um, but this job is called for heating and cooling. We have our heating section, our cooling section, and our fan section. Uh, return duct coming in here. As you guys can see, this room is a little tight. We had to get creative. Um, and then our discharge goes out, and we have uh, 21 outlets on this. This is a three-ton unit. Mm -hmm. Now, it is fair to say the Unico system versus the conventional system, I mean, this is a fairly compact unit. Um, and we've done some where we've, you know, hung from ceilings or in a garage ceiling or something like that that uh, really doesn't take up a heck of a lot of space. So that was also another good choice to use in, in this mechanical room, right? We wanted, this mechanical room was bigger, if you, if, as you Original, may recall, right. and because we were finishing the basement, we wanted to give them as much living space as possible. We really shrunk this mechanical room to about its capacity here. I mean, with, with you know, setbacks or- uh, Clearances. Clearances, for, rather, in yep. here. Um, we, we really designed this well, creatively, um, and but this it is tight. Fit, fit the but bill it, for it this. Fit need. the bill for it exactly. Yep. So, let's get out of this cram space and go take a look at where we're putting those console units. All right. Okay, Lou. So this is the bedroom, yep. and we've got a floor console unit going right here. What are we looking at um, with this line set, and uh, 
I forget how big the uh, console unit's going to be. It's a pretty little profile, if I remember. It's a very narrow, the very uh, shallow profile. Uh, we went with the Mitsubishi floor console. We have a multi-zone outdoor condensing unit, three-zone. So we're going to have three indoor floor consoles in this lower level. Right. This is the line set, of, uh, the two vapor lines coming in with our interconnecting wire. The floor console will be mounted there. The floor console is about 22 inches wide, about four and a half inches deep, and about two feet tall. So it's pretty slim. It'll tuck in nice against the wall. So not very really low profile. Now, we did talk about when we were trying to get creative for this whole space here to reduce you know, soffits and so forth. We talked about uh, creating a little alcove, a recess place to put the, put the uh, console unit. Um, but what kind of superseded that was the need to put the supply and return duct that's feeding the first floor above, right? So how did we do that? Um, we actually shot an episode on this, so go check that out. We stood right here on this wall and we talked about the creativity that we came up with for what is the supply up here. Yep, the nine and, inch and supply. The, and there's a return duct right here, basically on edge. It's more vertical than it is projecting out. So basically we framed a, a knee wall here. We sat the duct uh, on the knee. Yep. The return on it. We continued the knee wall. We, so we would just have this inch and a half jug right here to hide the supply duct. So we don't have any big soffits in here. We don't have a lot of head height. Um, so this was a great solution and that kind of, like I said, superseded the desire and the need to recess the console unit. Right. So creativity is why I love working with guys like Lou. We have a lot of site meetings. Um, we really spend the time up front to get creative and always find good solutions for the client. So that's a little bit about what's going on here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, like I said, make sure you go check out the previous episode on what's behind this wall. I think you'll find it interesting. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, WKP underscore construction, and we'll see you soon right here on The Build Show.